Okay, so before we start, we have to have an account on HANA trial on demand.com. So I already understand or I assume that you already have an account. It's free to create account in HANA trial on demand.com. We have been using this since almost one year where we saw in the web ID course or in the UI5 2018 update course or in the CDS or Fury for developer course we have used some part of HANA trial on demand. So I will be basically using the same account and I will go into Neo trial or you can go for Cloud Foundry trial. So when you go for Cloud Foundry trial, your system or the entire cloud platform instance will be created on either AWS, GCP or Azure, which will have a 90 days limited trial. Now this will be internally done by SAP but you are basically creating a instance for your entire cloud platform, which is comprised of application, uh, your web ID, a lot of instance will be created with Cloud Foundry in separate infrastructure, not in SAP infrastructure. If you go for new trial, then you basically are using SAP infrastructure, which they are saying as unlimited. So you can use it for unlimited duration. So I will go for new trial. More about what is new trial, what is Cloud Foundry, we will be covering in coming few sections where we want to give you control over how can you spin up your own cloud instance and what is the complexity surrounding that. Because in the new age of cloud, we will be seeing a lot of hybrid deployment where some part will be on-premise and some part will be in SAP Cloud Platform. And this is the on-premise part which requires certain level of understanding of how the systems are laid on or how the systems are actually built or should be deployed. So we will be giving you exposure to that based on um, how you require it. If you want those courses to be made, then please let us know. But for now, our scope will be mostly to focus on functionality of services which you will be working as developer. So we are inside our Neo trial and um, what we will be doing is first, this is a blank account. So in the previous section where we worked with uh, CDS and also work with Fury and mobile uh, application development, if you would have seen, we have a lot of destination. Then in this scenario, there will be no destination because uh, we are starting fresh to work with workflow. So if you go to service here, and uh, this is a fresh account with hannaondemand.com. And uh, the first thing which we do to start portal development is we go into our portal here and we enable that. So once we enable portal, it will basically take few seconds to get a green enable. As you can see here, now it has turned into enabled. And um, once we enable the portal, then the next thing which we search here is workflow. I'm using control F or in Mac command F for the searching entire page here, but you can also search in this section where it search all categories and also specific uh, types of service which you have. So this is the workflow, it's not enabled. So first you enable the portal, then the second thing is enable workflow. So again, it will take few seconds and Sometimes if it's failing, that means that you might not have activated or enabled portal or there may be some downtime for workflow. So you can try it again, but give it few seconds. It will basically turn into green. Now we can see that the workflow service is activated. Now the next step is going to go inside the configure service. Now if you have hard time to remember all the step because there will be a lot of step then we will be also providing you this developer helper guide where all the steps are properly mentioned so first step is to activate portal activate workflow going to workflow configuration which is the step which we are currently in so if you go here then you see destination and roles now inside the roles we will be looking into what are the roles which are not provided to us and will be try to give. So this is the user ID and um, developer role is provided and 
workflow admin, participant, context viewer, tenant, context admin, all these roles have been provided. But um, if you see here in context viewer, you can see that the user ID is not present, which means that we don't have that context viewer. So what I will do, I will click on the sign and um, I have to give my ID and I will be basically removing the trial part, which I can copy from URL and I will assign to myself the viewer and tenant operator also and let me also assign that role to myself i'm already admin therefore i'm able to do all this and i have this workflow context admin i can see my id here and initiator also and workflow viewer let me assign this to myself so there are multiple roles and um, why those roles are required you will come to know when we perform the simple creation of workflow because um, there will be a lot of data revolving around workflow which you would be seeing so all these roles gives you control if the user can view those data or the user cannot view those data so over time when we perform the steps you will be coming to know about all this